Hello my brothers and sisters. Last time we studied the fifth seal of the book of Revelation and now we are looking at the sixth. So I hope it will be a blessing to those who are indeed watching. So first off, we need to look at the book of Revelation chapter 6 and verses 12 through 17. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth and even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth upon the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand. Friends, we have studied some of this a bit, haven't we? We've talked about this in several different videos so far. We see that the earthquake this is talking about is referring to the Lisbon earthquake on November 1st of 1755. The sun being black as sackcloth coming on May 19th, 1780. In that same night, the moon looking as if it's blood red. Then the stars falling on November 13th of 1833. Notice how all these things occur during the sixth seal. Brothers and sisters, there are only seven seals. Then we have the return of Christ, right? Let me show you something. The book of Revelation chapter 16 verses 17 through 21 says this. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, It is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings. And there was a great earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts. And the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath and every island fled away and the mountains were not found and there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven every stone about the weight of a talent and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hell for the plague thereof was exceeding great. So we see here that this sixth seal coincides with the seventh plague of Revelation 16. Did you know though that all of this was prophesied in the Old Testament? Check this out in the book of Joel chapter 3 verses 11 through 16. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down. O Lord, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, Get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. 
But through all of this, even though the wicked will be destroyed at this time, God's people will be preserved through it all. Old Testament again, the book of Psalm chapter 46 verses 1 through 3 says this, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. So if we rely on this promise, then what will happen to God's people in the end? Go to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout of with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Jesus himself is going to come and redeem his people. The loud voice of Christ will awaken the dead who are still asleep in the dust, and those who are still alive will be translated, and will gather together to meet the Lord in the air, and will be with Him forevermore. How sweet a day that will be, but not so sweet for the wicked who refuse to repent. You see, you see them crying for the mountains and rocks to fall on them, to hide them from the face of Christ. Listen. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 8 through 12 says this. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, and them that perish because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So why is the wicked destroyed? It isn't because they didn't have the opportunity to know the truth. Because we are told that the gospel will be preached to every nation, kindred, and tongue, and people before the end of the world. It is simply because they willfully rejected the truth and believed in the lies of the devil. Friends, there are thousands and thousands of different religions and they all claim they have the truth. Brothers and sisters, there is only one truth. And if you reject that one truth... And believe in all these others who claim to have the truth but do not, then you will unfortunately be in this category. If you are watching this right now, you currently have the opportunity to believe the truth. But it's up to you to accept it and believe it and apply it to your life. And if you believe in this truth and hold on tightly to this truth, then you can believe this promise found in the book of Psalm in chapter 46 verses 10 through 11. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. The truth is found only in Jesus Christ. The word made flesh. Not the Quran. Not the book of Mormon. Not in the Apocrypha but solely in the holy word of the living God. And that brings us to the seventh seal, the return of Jesus Christ. We are living in the middle of the sixth seal right now. We have been for almost 200 years. It's coming to a close. Jesus is coming soon. This is John Tinsley with Everlasting Rock Ministries. And always remember, the truth never fails. God bless you.